everybody. Today, I'm going to do a demonstration of taping parts. This is very important. Uh, when you write an arrangement, you know, everybody gets their own part, and most often they're more than one page. And if you don't tape them together, so sometimes you'll call up a number and somebody's looking for a page three or page two, it's, it's very disorganized. So what you want to do is you want to tape all the pages together for each player, for each chart. And uh, some people will use scotch tape, which doesn't last, uh, not, good, not a good idea. Um, the best tape to use is artist tape. It's pretty expensive, so I don't use that. Um, I use 3M 2600 uh, masking tape, which is uh, three quarters of an inch. And um, some people will say, well, that doesn't last. Well, that's true. It will it'll last about 10 years, maybe a little longer. Charts that we've been playing for 20 years uh, I've had to replace, uh, but how often do you have a chart that you play every day for 20 years? Uh, just listen, you know, nobody's got that kind of situation. Um, so I use the cheaper tape, um, and believe me, it lasts longer. So I have a pile of uh, parts here. I'm going to take this second alto part and uh, line them up. I put a piece of cardboard on top of my table so to protect my table, which is very nice. And uh, I don't want to hurt the wood. So uh, I line it up and I leave a little space, just a little daylight between the two parts for where the fold is going to be. And then here's the, uh, for beginners, you do this. You take uh, heavy objects and uh, I got these rocks that look really nice. You know, any old rock will do, or any, any old heavy object will do. But, uh, and then that will hold them in place. And then you take your, your tape and um, line up the top of it and line up the bottom and then make sure that it's even across so that the uh, the crease is right in the middle of where your tape is and it doesn't have to be exact but pretty close and then you cut the bottom there you go um, and then you turn it over and do the back so one and two the tape is going to be on the front and between the next page between page two and page three we're going to tape it on the back so here's the same thing. We're going to take our heavy objects and then just make a little adjustment to make sure that it lines up properly. And then, all right, you see what I'm doing here? You got the idea, right? And I smooth it out so it's nice and taut. And then I use my razor blade to do that and cut it at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to show you the fast way how to do this. We're going to do the next page on here, page four. And I'm just going to, I've done this so many times that uh, I don't need to use the rocks. Uh, this is what happens when you, you've been doing it for so many years. And I just line up, I carefully line up the top and the bottom. And then I put my razor blade on the bottom edge and pull the tape across, smooth it out and then make the fold. So this way, the sticky part of the tape is going to be on the inside when it's folded. And this sticky part will be here, so that when it's in the guy's books, uh, it won't stick to the other charts. If, you, if we did all of them on the front like that, or all of them on the back, it would stick to the other charts in the book, and uh, not good. So that's it. Um, Happy, uh, happy taping, everybody.